What is behind this spike that we're seeing in oil prices the last two days, up by more than 5% when you look at uh, the WTI contract? Hey, good morning. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, a large part of that spike, I mean, you definitely saw the crude uh, inventory draw today in the U.S., uh, but a large part of that spike is the threat of, um, you know, increased sanctions uh, against Iran. And, and really, you know, uh, the, the idea that uh, countries will not really be able to get the sort of waivers that they thought they, they were going to get before. So, you know, Asia is the, the number one buyer of, of Iranian crude. It, it buys something like 60 or 65 percent of that crude. And, you know, countries like Japan or South Korea... I think they were, you know, they were hoping that maybe they could get a waiver uh, on those sanctions. Uh, but when the State Department came out the other day and said, no, we're not looking at waivers, that was uh, very bullish for the market. How strict do you think the U.S. will be on speaking to those countries that buy uh, Iranian oil, that import Iranian oil, uh, and tell them not to? Of course, there's also the threat of sanctions against uh, countries that don't turn off the taps when it comes to Iranian oil. We just heard uh, Nikki Haley telling uh, the Indian Prime Minister what to do. How widespread do you think this dialogue with those countries that import Iranian oil will be? Well, I think, yeah, I, I, they, they are taking a hard line. And um, when, you, when you consider that there are banking considerations, you know, it's very difficult for, say, uh, European customers. Uh, Europe is buying something around, I believe, around 500,000 barrels a day of Iranian crude. And, it, it, you know, uh, S&P uh, Global Platts Analytics is, is estimating that Europe will likely, you know, cut those, uh, cut those exports out altogether. Uh, because, of, you know, largely because of the, the banking considerations, you just simply can't uh, uh, operate that way with, with sanctions that, uh, that are that strict. Now, uh, that could, you know, when, when you consider Europe and, and other countries like Japan and, and South Korea, that could bring uh, maybe a million barrels a day of Iranian crude off the market by November. Again, that's according to uh, Platts Analytics. Uh, you know, if you see a real adherence to those sanctions. Um, some countries, uh, China is actually the number one buyer of, of Iranian crude. Now, they, uh, China looks like they're going to try and, uh, you know, get around the issue. They're going to, uh, they're pushing for some sort of non-dollar uh, uh, denominated trade in, in Iranian crude. Uh, but that still, that still tightens the market. And, um, you know, especially when there's not a lot of, uh, producers out there that can that can make up there's not a lot of spare capacity that can that can make up for that loss still watching perfect click here to watch another great video from cnbc international oh and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching